Hi guys, we discovered a huge problem in our van. We are living in this van for six months now and when it's starting to get colder the problem has become visible. So this is what we're dealing with. We have mold in our van. So as you can see our garage area is completely closed off from the living space and that was a big mistake. We don't have air ventilation and the place underneath the bed is not heated. So this was not a problem during the summer months but now when we start heating the van we get condensation in the garage area and that's resulting in moisture under the mattress and it has no way out. So we already have an S-Power heater mounted under the passenger seat that heats up the shower and our living area but that one have a really hard time to heat up the van. So today we're gonna fix two problems, we're gonna make sure we get rid of the moisture and we're gonna heat up the van very quickly. We already have a S-Power diesel heater in the van, so now we go for the Chinese version. We're gonna see if it's worth the money, yes or no. We heard a lot of stories, good and bad, so um, the best thing is to uh, discover it ourselves. It comes with a uh, diesel tank, which we're not gonna use. There are two boxes. That's uh, the fuel line. Exhaust line, but it's absolutely not good quality. You can bend it just with two fingers, and it's really not uh, not smooth. Look, so that's why you bought the one from Webasto. Also, this one is very cheap. A whole bunch of connections. That's the exhaust for the hot air. It's also very cheap. You can. Yeah, really, it's uh, that's why we bought the one from Webasto. The muffler, the wiring harness, very small one compared to the one we had from the S bar, a T joint, a outlet, the fuel filter, and the fuel pump. And a small remote control to turn him on and off. Could be handy if we are in the bed or something. We will see. Also a bottom plate which we are also not going to use. And a manual in English. Okay. So the reason why we bought this one is you have to drill just one hole. All the connections go through and it's very easy to install. Also, when there is something wrong with this diesel heater, this Chinese version, we can take it out and install an S-Power heater. So that's why we're gonna use this one. So yesterday we drilled a hole for this one. We added some rust protector and some rubber coating. And now we're gonna drill an extra hole in this one to get the cable from the fuel pump through. into the first problem which is diesel heater the one from my Vasto we bought doesn't fit on the connections of this uh, Chinese diesel heater so we have to use their uh, piping uh, very bad um, so far so good we're gonna install this now inside the van and uh, secure it to the ground and make all the other connections Now we're gonna mount the diesel heater in place and then we're gonna make all the connections for the hot air outlet.
but this is basically our setup. We go. We are coming from the heater with 90 mil pipes that goes to the living space, and then we're gonna reduce it to 60 mil to heat up the garage area. So I still need to cut this to length, but now we're gonna cut a hole in this wall to install our uh, outlet. So let's do that first. So we're gonna start with a pilot hole to see where we end up in the living area. So this should be mounted over here. I think that's perfect. It's I think we are lucky. <laughs> it's in the yeah. right position. At least we'll be a lot warmer over here. Yeah, you will have warm legs. Just, just sitting next to it. <laughs> perfect for winters. Absolutely perfect. So the carpet have the intention to spin around when you're using a hole saw. So I put a piece of plywood on top of it. I'm gonna drill it out. Everything will stay in place normally. We're gonna continue from this side. is still in place as you can see that's the wall that's a piece of plywood and that's the carpet so nice and clean We decided to put a control panel over here. It's the easiest way for us. We can run the cable through the backrest and make a connection in the garage. So um, we have e easy access. Even if you are in bed, we can push it on and off. Um, yeah, probably the best uh, spot in the van. Nothing is straight in the van, so I'm gonna eyeball, eyeball it in. Should be fine. It would be better if the cable was coming from the uh, the back side. Um, should be a little bit more a clean install. But, um, nope, the Chinese didn't want that. <laughs> and also the cable is very short. Yeah. So we're gonna cut the cable, extend it, and then um, we're good. First, we're gonna drill a small hole. Actually, not that bad. I don't think you can see the cable very easily. Morning. Christophe is already working on the cables. Good morning, guys. I'm gonna make a connection now for the uh, control panel. I already ran a cable through the backrest. 
to the garage. I'm gonna crimp one of these bad boys on. Alright, for the cables, it's very easy, not like the S-Bar heater. Um, you have this big connection that goes into your um, diesel heater. There is a positive and negative wire for your battery. Then there is one cable that goes to the uh, controller or the thermostat. And the other cable goes to the fuel pump. That's all there is. Very easy, I hope it works. Now we're gonna make a connection with the fuel tank. We're gonna use this with a basso thing, really easy. You don't have to remove your tank. It comes with a drill. You drill a hole in your tank. Cut this one to length, pop it in. There is a screw on top. You tighten it till it breaks and then this thing will stuck into your uh, fuel tank. All right guys, you are running into a problem. Our fuel line is way too short. Um, so we have to order a new one. But also we're gonna order a uh, better quality, a nylon one, because this is actually um, yeah, really cheap <laughs> Chinese quality. So we go for a better one and a longer one. So in the meanwhile, I'm gonna make a frame to uh, protect the heater, and we will come back to you when we have a new one. Our fuel line finally arrived, and as you can see, this is way much better quality than uh, the one that comes with the kit. This, even if you push, you see, you get a knick. And this one is nylon, it's really uh, strong. So This one is from Webasto, I put the link in the description from all the stuff we use. So um, Now we're gonna crawl under the van, tap this into our uh, fuel tank and make the connections. Today, these are hot air outlets. We got two of them. We're gonna install them uh, in the bed. I already boxed in the heater. I will show you in a minute. But first, we're gonna drill some holes for these bad boys. So that's the box we made. We have always access to everything. So the electrical or the heater itself. If something is wrong. So um, if we close it. We can throw our backpacks in, so uh, we're not gonna damage or uh, do anything to the heater. I already made the electric connection, so we're gonna close this one up and drill the holes. You can see when we put our mattress on top, the garage area is completely isolated from the living space. That's why we put these two ventilation grills inside. So when the heater is running, we create an airflow and the moisture can escape from the garage area. Uh, we also have the max fans running on low, so uh, all the moisture get out of the van. So we hope this will help preventing our uh, mattress from uh, molding. So the next step is uh, get this heater running. So it took us a while to figure out how to prime the heater. 
in our version, we have the new version of the shiny diesel heaters. You have to press these two buttons next to the arrow together. And then you see the pump uh, on the screen and it starts ticking. It might take a while, depends how, how far your diesel tank is located from your heater. So for us it's about four and a half meters and it really takes a long time. It was almost 30 minutes till the heater was uh, primed. So we already did that. So now the big test is uh, turning it on. We hear the heater. Yeah, this pump definitely makes more noise than the S-Pusher. The first time that the diesel heater is running, so it takes some time. This is really hot. And also, we don't hear the pump running anymore. Yeah, this is really hot. I think it's good we have now a second heater in the van. We have the one underneath the passenger seat. Now we have one under the bed. That heats up the space under the bed, so we can have a nice warm uh, night. And hopefully it gets uh, the moisture out of our van. Yeah, this is really hot. So guys, we're gonna test this diesel heater now for a couple of weeks. We're gonna compare the both of them. Uh, we're gonna give you a full update in a couple of weeks. We're gonna see if it's worth the money because the s basher is 1,500 euros and this Chinese version is 150 euros. So we already spent a little bit more money on piping and extra fuel line uh, on this heater. So we have about we spent about 400 euros in total for this diesel heater. But now we're going to take a look in the garage, how it's working. Do you hear a pump? It's actually not that loud as everybody is saying. So you yeah. hear the exhaust. We have a hot air outlet on this side. This is for the fresh air. Our table slide in, in and out easily. Our chairs go on top. Perfect. I hope this will keep the mold out of the mattress. If you have any tips to prevent mold, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> and we'll see you in one of our next videos, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Bye. Yeah, that's really working. It's really hot. Wow, oh, that's really good. Yeah, let's clean the van and let's get back on the road again.